This is the Pet Buzz. This is the Pet Buzz. And here's the Dynamic Pet Duo. Well, visiting Santa is a treasured holiday tradition. Circumstances may be different this year, but it seems that the elves at Cherry Hill Programs are making it possible for pet parents to have pet pics with Santa. So joining us today to talk about pet pictures with Santa is Steve Craig, head elf in charge at Cherry Hill Programs, who happens to be the CEO. Prior to coming to Cherry Hill Programs, Steve Craig was the founder and former CEO of Photogenic Inc., so Steve joined Terry Hill Programs senior leadership when PGI that's uh, was acquired in May of 2020. And since then, Steve has continued to lead the company's souvenir division while also taking on a strategic client programs in support of the holiday division as ceo steve will lead cherry hill programs growth with a keen focus on evolution of traditional holiday photography experience so welcome to the pet buzz we're so glad to have you here well thank you it's it's great to be here and, and looking forward to sharing our, our our pet opportunities with everybody on all of your listeners you know, visiting with Santa is one of the most beloved holiday traditions. So why do pet parents want to share that, that pet pictures with Santa? Like, what's, what's that about? Well, it's pretty simple. For, for so many of us pet owners, and I have three dogs myself, golden retrievers, um, they're, they're our children. And whether they're your second set of children, the ones that never move, up, move out of the house. You mean the two-legged ones? Yes, I, I have two two-legged children, but I also have three four-legged children. Mm -hmm. and, and the main difference is the two-legged, they moved out, but they left me with the three four-legged children, and, and they are our children, and uh, they want to see Santa just like the, my other kids did, the two-legged. I'm just curious. It's a personal question. Are the two-legged children jealous of the four-legged children now since they moved out? When they were growing up, it was not uncommon for us to call them by the dog names. Oh, <laughs> so talk, talk about mixing, uh, mixing up people's names. We, we took it to the full extreme. Wow. That's one that goes down definitely in the history books. Well, you know, it's interesting because COVID-19 has affected so many of us in so many ways. So how is uh, the pandemic affecting these merry traditions that we have, like Pet Picks with Santa? Well, we actually did Pet pet photos with Santa live in person in all of our brick and mortar locations. And with, with COVID-19, we've evolved and we've evolved to a digital platform where you can now get the same experience. You can upload your own photos of, of your pets mm -hmm. and place them in Santa's sleigh. You can place them in a motorcycle sidecar riding, you know, next to Santa Claus um, and all sorts of fun poses like that. I, I actually have one of our pictures where, where, um, the dog is definitely in the naughty category. You know, he just finished rolling around in mud. He's covered from head to toe. And, mm -hmm. and we put him in with the, the naughty photo. And uh, the other one got into the, the nice photo. So how best do we do that? Do we lot where, so where, like, how does it work? Like, so what do we do? Well, it starts out, you go to our website called createholidaymagic.com. Okay. And from there, you can then go into our, my, my photo, my pet photo with Santa. Okay. Category. Once you're there, you can upload a photo, either one that you've taken okay, or a new one that you want to take, and then you put it in a variety of different backgrounds. Okay, because, you know, usually pet parents, and when they're doing those annual pictures with Santa, they got to get the pet cleaned up. They got to go to the spa. You know, they got to get the haircut. They got to get the appropriate outfit, whether it's the ugly sweater or whether it's the bow tie. Did you guys... Well, you know, and I have a golden retriever, so I know about the hair. Well, that, that's the neat thing. It's sort of re regardless of when your dog happens to be clean, you can do it anytime with a digital platform. Okay. So if, if you wake up Tuesday morning and your dog wasn't rolling around in the mud and he, he happens to be in, in the right mood and behaving, you're, you're in good shape and you can go ahead and do it right then and there. So I guess the whole, I mean, you know, one of the nice things about Pet Picks with Santa was the opportunity to go into the mall and, you know, to see Santa, have the dog sit on Santa's lap. Although Santa did have to change his suit first because he had to put on the pet Santa suit. Exactly. So, I, you know, I think, you know, and also the other things where they were certain days. So this actually in some ways for pet parent is a lot easier, correct? It's 24-7. If you get up at midnight and you feel like 
taking a pet photo, you can go online, you can upload your pet photo and put them in backgrounds with Santa Claus. I think that's great for all those millennials who are up all hours of the day. (laughs) There you go. But yes, it's a 24 seven product. So you're not limited by the the days that um, we were open in the brick and mortar. Which is good because I think a lot of your competitors aren't necessarily doing pet pics with Santa, correct? Correct. And and a lot of the, in in the brick and mortar world last year, when we were doing this in, in person, it was limited to the front half of the season. So you can do this right up to Christmas Eve. Right. Um, I, and I also know some of the big pet stores, they only really do one or two days. Like I think your Petco and your PetSmart, they, you know, I think the Petco, I guess the PetSmart Foundation does two days. So you have to be available for those two days. And I think it's a first come first serve basis. So, and also the other thing is, I mean, a lot of people, now that the numbers are rising all over the country, they really do not want to take their dog's, or cats out because we know that dogs and cats are susceptible, especially cats are susceptible to getting COVID. Although dogs don't shed the virus, cats can. So, you know, it's, I think it's a great thing. Okay. So create the holiday magic. What else if I, I mean, if I go to that website, what else am I going to find? Well, you'll be able to set up Zoom calls with Santa. We have a traditions box that you can also get uh, along with that Zoom call with Santa. You you can schedule your time and your appointment and a a real live Santa will come on the call with you and talk to your kids. You fill out some information in advance so he actually knows what your kids want. Right. And and with the My Pet Photo with Santa as an added bonus for that, we also have, if you wanna get a photo with your two-legged children, you're able to do that and do My People Photo with Santa. Now, I'm just curious because I know a lot of wacky pet lovers out there. They might want to just do the phone call with Santa, too. Is that an option if I'm a pet parent? <laughs> we, we, we actually had somebody the other day that scheduled a, a Zoom call with Santa okay. and it was with uh, the, the couple and their two rabbits. Okay, so that's cool. Now, have you done it yet? I mean, you, you know, you and your wife with the three golden retrievers? Not yet. We're, we're going to save ours for closer to Christmas Eve. No, I think that would be cool because, you know, you get dressed up and then you see Santa and then you could also, I guess, have someone filming you talking to Santa. Well, we actually give you a video copy of oh, okay. the interaction. So the entire experience, you get a video download of everything that happens on the call. You know, this is great. I mean, it's so funny because I know in the TV world, I do a lot of television, so all the producers are really adjusting to Zoom. So I'm thinking, like, I might not ever travel again to a city or a station because Zoom is so great. I mean, one of the reasons we started doing Zoom calls is because there are people who we interview, maybe two or three, there's a handful that we interview two or three times a year, and even other guests, we don't get to see them. So it's really nice to see the guest, and especially since you're the head elf in charge, right? Yes, there, there are perks to being the head elf. Now, I know the big question for pet parents who listen all throughout the country, what is this going to cost for pet pics with Santa and a Zoom call with Santa? It's, it's actually very affordable. The whole package runs $29.99. And with that package, you can get unlimited backgrounds with, with your pets and Santa Claus. And you can get unlimited backgrounds with, for your children, your two-legged children and Santa Claus. Wow. You can get both and you can upload as many pictures as you want, download as many as you want. And it it all is just a matter of minutes to be able to go through the whole process. Okay. So $29.99, correct? Is that what I'm saying? Okay. That's cheap. Yes, it is. It's, I mean, you know, well, let's just get a little bit more sophisticated and say, Steve, that's very inexpensive. (laughs) <laughs> thank, thank you for the sophisticated word. Now you're going to three syllables on me and, and I, I have to pull out my dictionary. But yes, it's, it's very inexpensive and has a lot of value for the money. And you don't, have, you don't have to wait in line. One of the nice perks about being able to do this online is you don't have to worry about whether your pet gets along with the other pets that want to visit Santa at the same time. Absolutely. I mean, here, our studio is based on the Gulf Coast. It's in Bradenton, Florida. So we had the old DeSoto Mall. 
So it's funny because at the UTC mall, which is the big fancy mall with an Apple store, I think you measure your malls by if you have an Apple store or not. So I had all these friends who would take their kids and their pets down to the UTC. And I would say, you know what? Why waste time? Go to DeSoto. There's nobody there. You just wait. On. <laughs> and that's where um, one of your former retired elves, Ruth Rosenquist, that's where I used to do my pet pictures with Santa from there because there was never anybody there. So I'd go first thing in the morning. And I'd actually, they used to laugh because I'd bring them in a wagon, except for the golden. So uh, I've had six dogs. Now I have five. I just lost one. But, you know, I think one of the nicest things about doing this whole experience is the fact that a lot of us never take enough pictures of our pets, especially our senior pets. And now this is something that you can look forward to every year. And especially if you can't see the grandparents or you know your grandparents or or the doggy grandparents you know grandparents love their grand dogs too so it's nice they'll get the pet pic with santa every year we find a special frame for our for our picture with santa and you know i mean i get ridiculed but that's okay because most of my friends have kids and i don't have kids so my fur babies are my fur kids just like you and, and the beauty of it is, I, I initially started doing the two-legged version with my grandkids, mm -hmm. and I uploaded them. And then I realized I have old pictures of my kids when they were little, and so I uploaded those as well. And then I started working through, you know, our, our three current pets. And then I started working through all the pets that have gone over the Rainbow Bridge, and we used to have, and they've passed on. And so I actually was able to create a, a really nice collection of all the pets we've had throughout our entire family history. You know, I think I'm, I'm actually glad that you mentioned that because I think a lot of, you know, it's funny how you see your s cycle of friends lose pets every year. And I, I'm thinking of 10 people just in my head right now who I know who have lost pets probably in the last two months. And I'm sure this is something that they would love, even if they had the Rainbow Bridge Santa. Yeah, and, and my, ex my favorite background is one where you're able to take, take your pet Put them in a snow globe with Santa Claus standing behind the snow globe, staring, uh -huh. staring at them. And it, it's an adorable picture. No wonder you're the head elf in charge. All these fantastic ideas. I think Zoom is here to stay. It just makes our lives so much easier. And being able to go online, upload pictures of our pet. Now, I'm going to tell everyone, make sure that your pet is nice and clean, is looking his best. You know, add a little enhancements, everybody. I love those leash and collars. I love the bow ties, you know, with the plaid, or I even love a good ugly sweater. Don't underestimate the power of pictures of your pet being naughty. We're, we've all got those <laughs> ones where, where the pet's just incredibly naughty, muddy and dirty, he just dug a hole under the fence and, uh -huh. and, and that's that's one of my favorites. That looks absolutely adorable. Uh, that sounds like you've had one of those experiences, correct? Yes, that, that would be Griffin. Griffin is the one that uh, rolled around in the mud, and, and we have his picture from when he was a puppy, and I put that up. Well, Steve, I want to thank you so much for being here. Uh, Steve Craig, everybody, CEO, head elf in charge at Cherry Hill Programs. I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, Steve. And hundreds and hundreds of pictures with Santa for the great price of $29.99. Exactly. All they have to do is go to createholidaymagic.com and they can do pictures with um, my pet photo with Santa or their other two-legged two children with Santa. And you stole my line because I was going to say to learn more about Cherry Hill Programs, visit Cherry Hill Programs with an S.com. And to learn more about the pet pics with Santa, visit createholidaymagic.com. Up next, we're talking to ASPCA's Dr. Tina Wismore about Thanksgiving dangers. She is reviewing some of the top calls from the Poison Control Center this time of year. So stick around for some more pet buzz coming at you real soon. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Pet Buzz. 